As the masses are entertained with the Super Bowl and with the many forms of entertainment out there aimed at distracting us, a new portal is being built. A new hydrogen collider is being built. And the terminologies that they are using should alarm you, church. They're using terms such as multiverses. They're using terms such as parallel universes. They're using terms such as accessing other dimensions. Yet the corporate church in America has no problem changing their schedule to accommodate a game. You see, while the church in America is asleep, Satan's agents and his agenda are at work at trying to make possible the ability for these beings in other dimensions to manifest like never before. But do these beings in other dimensions need CERN? We'll talk about that in just a moment. A new plan is underway to build Europe's huge new hydrogen collider. And look at what it says in the news release. Europe's CERN laboratory revealed more details Monday about its plans for a huge new particle accelerator that would dwarf the Large Hadron Collider, ramping up efforts, listen to this, to uncover underlying secrets of the universe. Folks, this is no longer science that we're dealing with. This is a religious movement. These are entities that they are dealing with. And these are entities that are manifesting themselves in our dimension. Now, as we continue to talk about this aspect, I do want to remind you, if you're not just subscribed on the channel, consider doing so. On February the 17th, in just one week, the film The Real Jurassic Park is going to release on this channel. It's a free film. This is a non-monetized channel. And it is a film that features Trey Smith, Joseph Jordan, Chad Riley, Kent Hovind, and the one, the only Fallen World Films, my brother Tim, an awesome, awesome video maker as well. It's over two hours long, and like I mentioned, it's free. The aim of this film is to reach people and educate people of the pre-flood world, the post-flood world, and the days of Noah, and much, much more. You have to see it. So tune in on February the 17th on this channel. You see, in Ephesians 6.12, it tells us we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. And it's amazing because in the scientific world, there was once upon a time where the only thing that would tell you is, is that we evolved from an ape. They would tell you that they were looking for the missing link. They would tell you that we're nothing more than an accident. However, they're now talking about particles that are just shocking to them. They're not talking about puzzles that they're trying to figure out because they, according to them, they have found a multiverse. These are their words. CERN scientists, I parallel universe breakthrough. These are their words. These are your scientists. They're talking about the dimensions that the Word of God told you in Ephesians 6.12. U.S. CMS collaborators receive approval for massive detector upgrade. They're ready for whatever is going to appear through those portals. They're ready, they are prepared, and they have detectors, and they have AI, and they have artificial intelligence, Internet of Things. They had all of these things ready for contact. And just as a new CERN is being built, the original CERN that opened in 2008 has plans to build an even bigger one by 2035. You have to listen to them speak to understand that the one who's operating through them is the devil himself. In Revelation 12:12 12, 12, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So Satan understands that his time is short. Listen to Elon Musk. Listen to all of these great quote-unquote people that are the revolutionaries of the revolutionaries in this world. They're all telling you that we have a short time. They're all telling you that we need to make contact. They're all telling you that we need to populate another planet. They're all telling you that we need to leave Earth because judgment is coming. They just don't call it judgment. They'll call it overpopulation. They'll call it global warming. They'll, they'll call it climate change. I call it sin. I call it that this world needs to repent. 
I call it that this world needs to submit themselves to Jesus Christ. Yet the pride of man, the pride of man holds them from doing so. And as the Super Bowl is underway, another occult halftime show will happen. And the world will be the world and everyone will talk about it. And it's something that happens, of course, we'll discuss it. It's amazing because the world is out there carrying out their father's agenda, the lies of Satan. They're going harder than ever. Amazon has a new show where they're talking about Satan being the good guy in the Garden of Eden. Once upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light. Angels that worshipped good and shielded all from evil. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. But he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven. For they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth they created Adam and Lilith equals as the first of mankind but despite this adam demanded control and lilith refused to submit to his will she fled the garden drawn in by her fierce independence lucifer found her and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love together they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity offering the fruit of knowledge to adam's new bride eve who gladly accepted but this gift came with a curse, for with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity, only the cruel and the wicked, ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream, but Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, heaven made a truly heartless decision that every year they would send down an army, an extermination to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained, and her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the Princess of Hell. Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud. So the world can be the world, but the church, when it comes to Super Bowl Sunday, they will change their schedules. They will do anything to modify it to make sure that people are entertained. And you see the same thing in Halloween. The church is always trying to accommodate the world instead of the church just being the church. I am not saying that watching the football game is a bad thing. What I am saying is, is that when you have to alter your plans to fellowship with a brother or sister in Christ and or preach the gospel because of a game, we may just be in trouble. The world isn't backing down. The ones that were atheist once upon a time, they're now telling you about different dimensions. They're now telling you about different beings in other dimensions. They're now telling you the new age deception, the same old story, the same old lies in just different packages. And yet as the world is being the world, the church is now being more lukewarm than ever. The church has become a corporation. The 501c and many of the things that have crept into the church, the church has become a business and a corporation. And as that is happening, we're seeing the rise of diabolical things all over the world. I just pray for you and I just pray for me that in the name of Jesus, we can endure until the end. That in the name of Jesus, we can also be log inspectors of our own eyes as well. Just as we're seeing these things in the world, that we can do the same to our own lives. Because my family, we have to redeem the time for the days are evil. And we have to test ourselves every single day to make sure that we stand. Not by ourselves, no. That we stand in the name of Jesus. Because it is only by Jesus that we can stand. Let's go ahead and pray. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for your dear son. Heavenly Father, if there's someone that tuned into this video today that is undergoing diabolical oppression, that in the name of Jesus, you may be able to help them in the name of Jesus. Father, that if there's someone who came into this video that is struggling with depression, with oppression, with anything at all, maybe it's backsliding, maybe it's just temptations that they think that they don't know how they're going to overcome. However, with the temptation, you provide a way of escape. In the name of Jesus, remind us all that you provide a way of escape. If you're struggling and you need someone to pray with you, visit us at tfgministries.com, sign up in our community and make a request and we'll gladly meet with you and pray with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be encouraged. Jesus has already overcome. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May God bless you. Thank you for tuning in yet another week. Consider sharing these videos. That goes a very long way as a non-monetized channel. We really appreciate that. And also for those that are considering supporting this ministry, thank you because without your support, it's kind of hard to do a lot of the things that we do. Uh, thank you in Jesus' name for that. And on February the 17th, on February the 17th, tune in. This film, I am so happy because glory to Jesus Christ is finally done and it's 100% for free. I'm excited about that. I love that. I love free content. God is awesome. God is good. See you February the 17th. All right. I'm excited. God bless you always.